everybody. Good morning. Um, I never really know how to start these things, but I hope everybody is doing well. I did not plan on picking up the camera today. However, I just felt really compelled to talk to you guys. And I'm like, I'm cooking this morning. It'll be a great opportunity for me to do like a little cook with me, you know, just so you guys can see what I am preparing for this week. I'll be honest, I have no idea where this recipe came from. It's literally just a bunch of stuff that I like that I'm putting in a bowl together. Um, and the basis of this meal was just supposed to be like um, high protein, high fiber. And with the ingredients that I have in it, I think I'm getting a lot of that. I do hope that it tastes, you know, I think it will. I'm not gonna say that. I think it will taste really, really good once I'm done cooking it, but of course, um, I will be sure to let you guys know and if you happen to try this little recipe that I am doing feel free to let me know how you think of it anyways what I was getting into was um, I had no intention of picking up the camera today I was supposed to start vlogging actually on Wednesday because that's when I'm really going out I'm supposed to be going to the Dusabu Museum in celebration of Black History Month and then later on that night I am attending a Kataro dinner with my sister I invited more people but of course you know life is happening people have things to do which is totally understandable so it's just gonna be me and her dining out and I'm super excited it's been a really long time since I've been to like a fancy almost upscale restaurant and just you know really get cute and dine on some good food so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it and it's going to be my first time at the uh, the Dusabu Museum so I'm really looking forward to that as well I didn't know that it had been around for so long I was talking to my dad about it and he was telling me stories of how like he used to go on field trips and stuff like that to that museum and I was like oh okay cool but I'm really looking forward to that. As for today, however, um, I'm going to be staying in the house. I don't really have anything outside to do because I did all of my outside errands on Saturday. So um, I do need to make a bunch of phone calls today, a bunch of adult stuff that I need to take care of. What else do I have to do? I have to go through my paperwork and stuff because I just feel like after, I filed my taxes on Saturday and I just feel like after doing all of that, I have paperwork all over the place. So I kind of just want to get that, you know, back organized. I saw some file organizers that I want to get on Amazon. I'm debating on when to get them because like they're not, they're not an, um, an urgent buy. Like I can wait for it, but um depending on how much paperwork I have to go through and how things are looking, I may get them sometime this week. If not, I don't mind waiting a little bit. It's not a problem at all. What else I gotta do today? Yeah, there's not really much. I was supposed to go into the office today. Um, as you guys know, I, I do volunteer every other Monday at this facility. And um, I was supposed to go in this morning, but um, the coordinator contacted me and told me that she's going to be out of town and she has uh, some meetings to attend. So um, there was no need for me to go in today, but we're going to regroup and be back in March, which I'm super excited for. My first day there was really, really great. And I just, I felt so at home there, even though it was just my first day, like they really welcomed me. I got introduced to everybody. It's just a great atmosphere and a great vibe. And she did tell me that there may be, you know, some room for, or opportunity for an employment in the near future. So I'm keeping my eyes on that because even though I do like my current job, you know, we're, we're always looking to advance and move forward. And of course, work in a field that's more uh, r related to what what i'm studying or what i have studied at this time but yep today's just gonna be a pretty um a pretty simple day it's beautiful outside we woke up to a lot of sunshine so i'm really happy about that but um i believe five minutes is up i set my timer to three minutes but i wanted to give it about two more minutes so um we'll chit chat in a little bit again let's get back to this cooking
Okay, so we're still not done cooking because I actually um, I'm going to prepare a quick spinach stuffed omelet, but I will not be filming for that because it's it's not going to take long. And maybe another time, I'll show you guys how I make my um, my omelets. But I'm just going back over my to do list for today, and it's just you know a little bit past nine o'clock and just looking at this list i should be done with everything probably by 11 so i'll have the rest of the day to just you know chill out because i do go back to work tomorrow so um, i'll just be able to relax i'm going to read a little bit more of my book angels fall uh it's a new it's a new book that i just added to my collection and i girl when I tell you I've been reading this book almost every single day it's it's so good we'll get into that another another time though and I do want to show y'all what came in the mail yesterday uh, Sunday afternoon uh, I'm really I'm really happy about it unfortunately it's an item that I have to return but when when I show y'all I'll, I'll explain the whole story of it and, and everything but let me finish my cooking and um clean in here and then we'll regroup afterwards. Hmm, it's not too bad outside. I was expecting it to be like a lot colder out here but it's not that bad actually I think it's gonna be in the 40s today it's been a lot like 50s but again not complaining I just thought I'd come out here since I'm gonna be indoors all day I at least want to get a little bit of um sunshine and fresh air it is so nice out oh my goodness spring is really coming early this time around and as frightening as they may be considering that it's just February and uh, global warming is uh it's very real it's starting to become very real i am appreciating this warmer weather and it's been a while since i've just been able to you know to sit outside and really just take in na nature but i'm babbling right now i really came out here to show you guys those um the item that i i purchased on on sunday but let me go get my tripod so i can get set up out, out here because I don't I don't want to be holding the camera one second y'all can y'all see me the sun is like kind of in my face but I think y'all can see me but let's get into this um I guess it would be an unboxing honestly this item that I'm about to show y'all I don't plan to keep so that's why I'm like it's kind of an unboxing kind of not but this particular purchase i'm really just kind of overwhelmed about because this is my first time purchasing like um a high quality brand you guys know i'm a i'm a thrifter i'm a thrift girly i'm always at the thrift store looking for the deals and even if i want like a brand item i always go to the thrift store to find it but this is like my first official purchase from a high quality brand website here we go. We got some coach. We got coach shoes. But like I said, these are going to be returned because these are actually just, um, these are test shoes. I got them to test the quality of the shoe to see like how um, coach does their sizing because all name brands are different. So I just got these, like I said, as test shoes. They've been on my mind for like the past couple of months. Uh, let me show you guys. I got the Coach, what's it called? The hat, the Hatley slipper. This is what I got here. Now, I wasn't going for this color at first. I wanted the solid black ones. Um, I believe they were felt. This uh, this particular fabric, it starts with a J. I can't really pronounce it. It's like jacket or something like, like that. Um, I'll just put it up here on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about because I don't know why I cannot pronounce that word. I'm probably saying it right, but I might be saying it wrong. I don't know. These are a size five. Now, 
<laughs> I knew that they weren't gonna fit to begin with. Again, I just got these as like a test shoe so I could really see how the quality of coach shoes are. Cause the only coach item that I have is a coach tote bag that a coworker gave to me as a Christmas present a few years back. So grateful for that because the fact that she got a coach bag for me was just wild. But I'm, I'm super, super appreciative. I still use it damn near every single day i do my best um i do my best to take care of it but um back to the shoes um i really just wanted to test the quality of how coach shoes were and these are like a 10 out of 10 like i was completely taken away um i did try them on even though i knew that they weren't gonna fit but you know just so i could see how my feet would actually feel in the slipper and like just just look at that y'all it looks so stinking cute and when i tried them on it was just it was so comfortable it was like walking on a cloud and i'm just like okay the next time like when, when i'm ready to officially invest in these shoes hopefully one they'll have my size in stock because right now i think there's only like sizes five through seven in stock which is just really um, unfortunate for me my, my size is never in stock I hate it but it is what it is but um, when I do um, decide to finally like actually invest in these um, I think I'm gonna get this color too even though I had the intentions of only just getting the black felt type but these are really really nice as well um, seeing them in person I was just like okay I, I can get down with this color too but like the detail and everything is just gorgeous i love it i love it i love it i love it but getting this was just kind of like it was just very different for me because like i said i'm a uh i'm a thrift girly i don't really do anything that's like designer or close to designer and if i do like i said i get it at the thrift store but um i'm really just trying to get into that that uh I'm really into like that phase in my life where I'm choosing quality over quantity. Like if you notice a lot of, even though a lot of the stuff that I get is uh, thrifted, it's like the quality of it is really, really nice. I'm really being picky about what I wear because the type of wardrobe that I want is, I want to have a wardrobe that's filled with pieces that not only that I just like, but every single item is my, my favorite. Like when I look at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, can't wait to wear this, can't wait to wear that. I know how to pair this with that. You know what I'm saying? And the wardrobe that I have in mind, I can't really invest in it just yet because that wardrobe is not going to align with my lifestyle right right now, um, if, if, if that makes sense. So just to like break it down a little bit, I uh, I still work in retail, even though I am officially certified, I'm, I'm in my transitional phase where I'm just uh, acquiring the skills that I need to actually get into the uh the ideal profession that i have in mind so as i'm working in retail all i do is work I, you know i work four days out of the week i work long shifts i only have three days to myself and one of those days i spend at home so it's like i'm really not going anywhere so if i were to invest in that wardrobe that i have in mind right now all of that stuff would just be sitting in my closet because it's not going to align with the lifestyle that i live so what I'm doing right now is just trying to curate um, pieces that I really, really like. You know, the kind of uh, style that I want to tap in, into, uh, uh, the kind of woman that I want to portray myself as. So I'm just gathering all these ideas so that when I am officially ready to invest in that wardrobe, it'll be right when I'm living that lifestyle. Hopefully that makes sense. And um, if it doesn't, I'm sorry. I tried my best to uh, elaborate, you know, the best way that I possibly could. Um, but yeah, those are the coach shoes. Um, these are going to be returned tomorrow. Um, you guys obviously won't won't, won't see that part because I work tomorrow. Um, UPS is right is right next to where I work, so I'm just gonna you know hop right in there. But um, yeah, this was definitely just a great experience and i just want to say like i'm really really just blessed to be able to um provide for myself in this sort of way to actually um have the funds to invest in higher quality pieces and all i can do is just give thanks to the lord for that because um it's, it's something that i've never really experienced growing up you know we were m uh, my family and i we were never really like dirt poor but we were never ever like 
rich. We were definitely um, just touching middle class, you know, only could afford the uh, uh, essentials. Um, but just to be in this place right now where like I can do this for myself and do it for, for them too, I'm just, I'm, I'm really grateful and, and really blessed. But I love my backyard, y'all, random thought. But it's definitely one thing I'm gonna miss when, um, when I do finally get a place of my own. If you follow me on, on Instagram, you would know that my backyard is literally a farm. Like horses come towards our fence and stuff like that, donkeys and all that. If you can hear it a little bit, I'm not sure how, how loud it is for you guys, but if you listen clo closely, you can hear like the roosters and stuff uh, in the background, which is it's just a very nice touch, you know almost country living not really but you know it's just it's, it's really really nice um i might spend a few more moments out here because it's just it's it's so nice out i was expecting it to be cold because it's still early in the morning but um it's it's really it's it feels really good out here so i'm probably just gonna spend a couple more minutes out here before i head back inside but for the rest of the day i'm just gonna make these adults phone calls like i said go through my paperwork and um yeah that'll be it so i guess the next time i pick up the camera will be on wednesday for my museum day and my dinner day i guess i will see y'all on wednesday Um, I should. I have to be back home by two because me and Shaquille are going out to dinner. So I need to just uh, be home by two so I can shower, um, get dressed, and just relax for a little bit. Okay. Oh, you can leave that light on. Oh, okay. Is Maddie even mm -mm. Hey y'all, good morning, uh, happy Wednesday. Today is the day that we are going into town. I'm visiting the Dusabo Museum and then later on tonight, I have a dinner at Kataro with my sister just as a little refresher. I'm really excited. Um, I checked the weather and right now it's like in the 40s out, which isn't so bad and surprisingly enough i thought it was going to be like in the 50s but it's actually going to be touching a little bit of 60 degrees today so god was definitely on my side when i was planning this little um downtown trip because if you've been to downtown chicago you know it gets a little colder there especially around this time of year but for it to be 60 degrees like girl yes definitely chose the right day to go out because we're going to be doing um so walk some walking down there as well so um i won't have to worry about freezing my buns off but it doesn't look like we're gonna get a lot of sunlight today i just wanna i'm just in my robe right now but 
we're just gonna step outside really quick just to see exactly what it feels like nobody's gonna see me another thing i love about our backyard very secluded oh yeah it's not it's not bad at all it's so pretty out even though i'm a sunshine girly i just love when the sky looks like this it looks like you know heaven is just opening up and that's just what makes it so beautiful okay let's let's get back indoors we'll have enough outdoor time in a few hours so the museum opens up at 11. um not too mad about it because that means i have enough time in the morning to do what i need to do it's currently 8 44 so i have about at least a good hour and 20 minutes to spare um, to get ready and all that uh, when i check the eta i'm expected to arrive there at least by 10 50 if i leave exactly at 10 o'clock which is perfect so yeah not too bad but i'm gonna go ahead and eat breakfast now i know i look really really crazy but i'm gonna eat and then when i come back i will talk to you guys a little bit more about the details of today and just um how we're gonna flow so this is the look for today i went thrifting on saturday something i was not supposed to have been doing but i just did it anyways just to treat myself a little bit but I got this t-shirt when I went and I did not go to Purdue but my sister did uh, she's a recent graduate so in a way it's like I'm celebrating her and black history boom <laughs> but uh yes yeah, so I have this shirt and then just my uh, skinny jeans that are by Fashion Nova but I got them from the thrift store as well <laughs> and then I had my sun-kissed hat no brand another thrift find i told y'all i'm a thrift girly like it's ridiculous honestly but uh yeah my hat thrifted and then i'm gonna take along with me my it'll come off the hook i'm gonna take my worthington jackets and then i'm just gonna pair it with my sneakers um i'm not gonna put them on now because of course no shoes in the house but uh yeah that is the vibe for to today and um, i'm taking along also my quilted bag i was gonna take my tote bag that i got from 50s a little while ago but um i think this one will do just fine i'll hold off on the tote bag so the time right now is about 9 20 so i got about a good 30 40 minutes until i officially have to head on out and go to the museum i need to text my sister and make sure that she's still coming to dinner tonight i mean i set the reservation for two people but if she doesn't show up like it's not a big deal at least i'll have a table to myself you know i don't really get mad about those type of things because i know that life happens but i i do need to text her and just uh, make sure that we're we're still on schedule for tonight oh let me um show y'all really quick the fragrance that i'm going for this museum visit is a uh, platinum rush by paris hilton honestly not something i would normally buy i got this as a christmas present but um, I haven't had or heard any complaints about it. You know, I like the way it smells, but you know, other people might think it smells horrible. But like I said, I haven't had any um, complaints or anything. So we're gonna go with this. It's a little bit of a bolder scent. This is what we're going with just for the time being. And um, I do need to steam my skirt for tonight's dinner so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now because i think when i get home after the museum visit i'm just gonna chill out for a bit oh actually um let me go let's go to the kitchen really quick i gotta grab some stuff so i don't plan to do that much um eating today just because i know that i'm going out to dinner tonight so I'm just gonna pack like this little um, bumblebee snack on the run. It's the chicken salad one. This is my first time trying it. I normally have the tuna salad, 
but I've heard that the chicken one was really, really good. So um, I just decided to grab it for today. So I gotta make sure I put this in the bag so I don't forget it. Now, I don't know if I wanna take my insulated water bottle or if I just wanna take my clear plastic one because this one is more lightweight. And when I'm doing a lot of walking, I don't like to be carrying um, items that are too heavy. This one, of course, has a little bit more weight to it, especially with, you know, added water in it. So, I don't know. I'm thinking, I think I'm gonna just take this one. Yeah, I'll just, there's some water left in this one, so I'll just, I'll pour it into this one, and um, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> to spend at least two hours at this museum so hopefully this should be enough to hold me over but honestly I'm the type where whenever I, I go somewhere I become so invested in what I'm looking at that I forget to hydrate that sounds a little weird but it's like I forget you know to, to eat or drink or do other things because I'm so invested in what's happening right in front of me but gotta make sure I'm staying hydrated I have to make sure that you know so, um, I'm just gonna steam my skirt, sit for a while to let my phone charge also. And I will see you guys when I'm in the car. You know the weather is good outside when you ain't gotta come out here an extra 10 minutes to warm your vehicle up. It feels so good, y'all. And the sun surprisingly came out. The report said it was only gonna be cloudy, so um i wasn't expecting there to be sunshine but i'm really happy about it hopefully the sun will last once i uh get to chicago and as i'm walking to the museum so here's the plan we like to travel on a budget right so i was worried that i would have to pay for like parking and stuff for one i don't have to pay to get into the museum because um normally on wednesdays is their free day um so I shouldn't have to worry about paying for admission or anything like that but I was like there's still parking I have to worry about but wait but wait while I was doing some hunting I found out that there's like a Jewel Osco 15 minutes from the, the museum it's a five minute drive from it but it's a 15 minute walk from it so I'm like I'm gonna park my car at the Jewel Osco and we can walk those little 15 minutes which will quickly turn into 10 because I am a fast walker <laughs> And we're just gonna do it that way instead of paying for parking. So um, I'm really satisfied with that plan because like I said, we travel on a budget. And that means the only thing I'm gonna spend money on today is the dinner and the dinner isn't, isn't even gonna cost that much. So it's gonna be a good day, y'all. y'all so we have made it to the jewel Lasco. um i didn't realize that there was on street parking around here which is also really really nice but you know what i'd rather just park my car let me get y'all set up here but, um i'd rather just like have my car parked in like an actual parking lot than on the street because people be driving crazy i mean people still be hitting cars when they're parked which is just completely insane to me but hey that's how some people are um it's only 10 35 the museum does not open for like another 30 minutes so i'm probably just gonna sit here and chill for a little bit i'm wondering if whether or not i should go and check out this jewel osco because i kind of like the setup of it it has glass windows girl they are fancy here but um i think i might just avoid doing that because if i go in i'm going to be tempted to buy something to eat and i'm like girl no that's not what we're doing <laughs> so um, i'm just gonna sit here let my phone charge up a little bit more and then around um 10 50 i think that's when i'm gonna start walking because again it's like a 15 minute walk and by the time i get there the doors should be opening up
but once I actually make it to the museum I won't be speaking to you guys I'm just gonna do like little montage clips because this experience is mostly supposed to be educational for me it's my first time at this museum so I really just want to like focus on being there and being present and really just seeing um all the history that's gonna be laid out in front of me but again I, I am just gonna give y'all little montage clips also because I know that there are people who watch my videos who have never been to um, the Dusaba Museum so this will also just like be a great way for me to show them like you know this is what I saw you know this is what it's like inside of the museum but I'm really excited to get in there but um yeah like I said I'm just gonna stay for a little bit and I will see you guys at the museum just left out of the museum unfortunately I um, I couldn't take any videos they said you could only take pictures you know no flash photography all that type of stuff but um, I am gonna put in like a little um, I guess slideshow of the pictures that I took so you guys can at least like see the things that I saw smaller than the art institute which is what i was expecting and this is definitely if y'all can hear the kids in the background that's just what i was getting into this is definitely a museum that's more for like children i mean you, you're still learning history and all that and there were definitely like adults my age or way older than i was here but this is definitely just like a museum that you bring school groups to because um yeah it's it's really small really tight but still overall a great experience um i had no intentions of buying anything for today but i did get a little um i did get a little keychain however i'm gonna i'm trying to pull it off my my hook here so this is the keychain that i got it was only like five dollars so i'm like why not but just a little something to um, remember this day. Hopefully I can come back up here with a couple of friends. They actually do things a little bit differently here. Like I was kind of expecting to guide myself, but they actually had like a speaker who was walking us through the whole entire museum, which I thought was really nice. Definitely a different um, a different change from all the other museums that I've, that I've been to. It's just hitting like 12 o'clock. A lot of activity going on here, but it's just hitting 12 o'clock. And I think I'm just gonna start walking back to my vehicle. I don't think I'm gonna go anywhere else because I only plan to spend like two hours up here anyways. So um, we're, we're just gonna head on back home and I will talk to you guys then. successfully made it back home i'm about to take a shower but first we have a package we have mail so let's do a quick unboxing of this i believe y'all should be able to see me most importantly as long as you see the item that's all that matters so on Monday I showed you guys a little quick unboxing of the coach Hatley slippers that I purchased. I already returned those but when I was doing some more browsing I found the black pair which is the color like I said that I really really wanted. I found them in a size 6. So this is what we have here in this bag. I'm going to try them on really quick. Um, 
just to see like if maybe a size six would be better for me because when i tried on a size five of course they were small and my heel was sticking out just a little bit so let's see if a size six does it and then if not we'll need to go higher but. oh 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 hold on so the brown ones or should I say the the OG, you know, coach, um, the ones that I had before, the material was a little bit more rougher. This is really soft, so it's felt fabric, um, really simple, no, not really a lot of detail into it, but I, I like this a lot. Oh, okay. All right, let me try them on really quick just to see a size six kind of looks promising but let's test it out oh oh okay my heel is out just a teeny bit but it's not it's not bad it's it's doable let me put on the other pair so we can see the whole thing not bad okay i could probably do a size six like i said my heel i don't know if you guys can see but my heel is slight slightly out by like just an inch so we might have to move up to a seven they do have a size seven available well i gotta double check and make sure if it's uh, in black or if it's in that jacket i i don't know if i'm saying that right y'all but the ones that I had before, when I showed you, I'm, I'm going to see if they're available in that size or not. But these are these are really nice too, I'm not going to lie. The inside still feels just as comfortable. Like, it's just, it's so adorable. These are a lot more simple. But that material though, this is soft. It doesn't feel that way on the inside, which is nice because if it was felt on the inside too, girl, my feet would be sweating, but this isn't bad. Okay, coach. So we're going to um, return these tomorrow when I go back to work. And then hopefully around my birthday, um, when I check back in, because that's when I really actually plan to, you know, finalize my investment in coach shoes. Hopefully they'll have a size 7 ava available. I am contemplating getting the black and the color that I had before because these are adorable. I could def definitely see these being like my travel slippers. Even though I'm really just purchasing these to wear around the house. But you know, um, if I do decide to get like both colors, I can have one color just be for um, indoors and then another color be for outdoors. But. When the time comes, we'll get to that. Overall, um, just like the first pair that I tried, the quality is 10 out of 10. Really nice. And I'm really looking forward to, you know, um, making my investment in coach shoes final in the future. So that is that. There are 6B to be... Um, exact which just means average size for those that don't really know sizing because i had to look up what the b meant i know what w means but i've never seen a b in shoe size before so i had to double check and just see what that was all about my hair is looking it's looking good but it's also just looking very messy so i don't know how to feel about it i um the plan that I had for tonight for my hair, I was going to do like a bun, but because I've been wearing my hair, I don't want to say confined, but just like not really out out lately, I'm just going to like do it like this and I'm going to put on my faux fur bucket hat that I love oh so much. And then tomorrow when I go to work, I'll just put my hair up in the bun because I don't like having hair on my face anyways while I work. It gets in the way. So yeah, we're just, uh, that's the plan for tonight. And I don't know if I'm going to do like a get ready with me for tonight because um, I just I'm not sure if I'll have enough time to. But of course, I will like drop in to um, 
show you guys like my outfit and what exactly I'm gonna be wearing. My skirt is already steamed and everything's all set and ready to go. So all I have to do now, like I said, is just take my shower. Um, I'm gonna chill for a little bit because what time is it? Um, it's barely hitting 1.30. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna hang around after I, after I get done showering, relax a little bit. Um, might read a book or something like that. We'll see. Something I forgot to tell you guys while I was at the museum, this completely made my day. But while I was there, um, I was like standing in front of um, the wall here because they had like this little text on the wall just, uh, just about like a photographer that they have there. And I was reading it, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. And then this woman, she comes up and she was like, oh my gosh, cause um, she saw me move and she like freaked out. And I was like, what? And she's like, I thought you were a statue. You're so beautiful. And I was like, what? don't have me crying in this museum. Like that was just so sweet. And then when I was leaving, as I was walking back to my car, this guy like riding his bike just zips past me and just screams out, you're so beautiful. And I'm like, okay. Okay, y'all, I see y'all trying to gas me up, but that I just thought, you know, um, moments like that just really make my day. It was just re really, really super sweet. And um, it gives me just a little bit of hope that there is still kindness out there in the world despite everything that's going on. But just a little something that made my day. But uh, yeah, let me get on with the shower. Shouldn't take too long. And I will see you guys once I start getting ready for the dinner. So I actually had to film this part over because I ended up changing my outfit. The skirt that I was gonna wear, I just, I no longer feel an emotional attachment to it. We're donating that skirt. Like every time I try to put it on or attempt to put a cute outfit on with it, I just, I end up hating it, so we changed to um, just wearing pants tonight. So let me back up first so y'all can see everything. Um, I'm wearing my loafers by Lulu's. Don't worry, I'm taking them right off because again, no shoes in the house. I'm wearing my solid black slacks. I forget what brand this is. If I remember, I'll put it up on the screen. The turtleneck is Express, if I remember correctly. Um, what else? My blazer. I don't know what brand this blazer is either. I think I'll just put everything up on the screen so you guys can see what your girl is wearing. But of course, I have my coach bag. And yeah, this is the whole entire look. I'm really satisfied with this. It's simple, but yet in a way it still makes a, uh, a statement. Now, I was supposed to wear a hat but because i changed my outfit i decided to just do my hair this way with little bobby pins and as i didn't really bother with my edges because i'm like I, I don't think anybody's really going to notice so i just decided to go with this i'm happy with it and i checked the weather and the temperature dropped a little bit but not too much it's like mid 50s right now so this is still just warm enough for me to wear and we're going to be indoors so i'm not really too worried about it but ah, my sister might need a little help with her outfit we just got done um facetiming but she might need a little bit of help so i think i'm going to head over there a little bit earlier than i planned to plus i don't know what the wednesday night traffic is like hopefully it's not too bad but when we get out there we will find out and see i do want to show you guys something really quick um It almost slipped my mind, but as you guys know, I recently just graduated from the U.S. Career Institute with a certificate in bookkeeping. I was not able to get the actual certificate in my hand because I still had a tuition to pay off. We paid off that tuition, and about two weeks later, ah, it is here, it is here, it is official, officially certified. Five. So I'm going to be taking this with me to the dinner tonight so my sister can get some pictures of me with it because I just want to make sure that I definitely um, get some photographs of me with this certificate here. Um, so it looks so beautiful. Ah. 
all that hard work paid off. So I'm probably just gonna lounge around for the next 20 minutes and then I'm gonna head on out to pick up my sister. So I will see you guys in a little bit. There's a, there's a dim, dim setting here on the side. Thank you. Let me get your food. Oh, man. That's fine. I bought my tongue. You wanna say hey? <laughs> so what did you think of Kataro? I don't eat this food, but what I got is pretty good. But I gotta get my fries though. You know? <laughs> this is her fries. first time here. Like she said, she's not really a seafood person. So yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, 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 it's good. We have our desserts. It's my first time trying key lime cheesecake. Look at that. Representation. Okay. It looks so good. I'm super excited to try this. Hopefully it'll taste just as good as it looks though, but we will find out in a minute. Please bear with me. I know the lighting is like terrible, but I just dropped my sister off. Um, dinner was incredible. I brought home um, the, gar the garden salad and a little bit of the sushi rolls. Um, yeah, that was all I brought home, you know, um, nothing too crazy. This is a little better. I just want to quickly say thank you guys so much for watching this video, for your overall support. I had so much fun today and I hope you guys had fun watching me had fun. <laughs> um i hope you guys had an incredible february because the next time you're gonna see me probably won't be until march so just continue on spreading love spreading joy give praise to the lord he continues to breathe the breath of life into you every single morning that you wake up you have a new opportunity to do better and be better than you were yesterday so be grateful and be thankful for that and I love y'all so much. Like I'm just overwhelmed with joy and happiness right now. I can barely talk, but I love y'all dearly. Thank you so much again for watching. I will see y'all next time. Bye.